The new cell phone poles are being installed across Tucson. Verizon and AT&T say that so many people are using their cell phones and Internet that these towers, they're needed, but not everyone is on board. News 4 Tucson's Allie Potter joins us live with the details. Allie. Hey there, Angelique. So just think of it as a light pole. I'm going to step aside so then you can see exactly what we're talking about. So from this angle, it looks like a light pole, right? But if you look a little closer, it's actually not. It's really a wireless pole to provide faster, um, high speed internet and better cell reception. Well, it sounds great, right? I think so. But if you live near one, mm, you're not going to think that. I feel taken advantage of as an individual uh, to have something put in my front yard and have absolutely no say as to how it influences me. Tucson resident Josh Franklin doesn't have a say and neither does the city of Tucson. According to state legislation, the city's role is only processing permits for these small cell wireless poles. We review the permits as they come in, make sure that they are um, in compliance with all the the requirements of the permit and then we issue the permit. Verizon and AT&T install these poles. We have no say on where the poles actually go. Um, that design is done by Verizon and AT&T. They decide where to put them and they place them around areas to establish a network according to a, a design uh, and they place them where they see they need to go and there's no requirement for the city to advise the public or the neighbor that's being directly affected or hold a public hearing. Elizabeth Kelly with Electromagnetic Safety Alliance says these poles are designed for good. Faster speed, greater connectivity, and latency, shorter latency, which means basically instantaneous communications. But from a health standpoint, there are worries. But the effect on the general environment, on all living species from the radiation patterns, the effects on our real estate, uh, the effects on our privacy. Which is frustrating for residents like Josh Franklin. I don't think that it adds to my property value. Uh, no, I prefer it wasn't. I asked them if there was other options on locations that they could put it further from my front door. Uh, and they said there, were, there weren't based on the grid that they had set up. And Verizon tells me that there is no evidence that this will hurt any type of property value. And Josh agrees. He said, that's it. I'm packing my bags. He's moving. We've got you covered. Allie Potter News for Tucson.